Thank you very much. Okay. We're doing a crowd work show. It's a jokes we have not done before, right? That's, and I think that's very fucked up that you wanted us to do that. <laughs> we work very hard on our jokes. It's a sold out show. Motherfuckers. Like we, would you watch a painter do a, just do a doodle? No, I think that's mean that you came to this show. Oh, rappers do freestyles. I'm, Sorry, I'm not a rapper. <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> just get that out of the way. <laughs> um, just cause you know, I'll, I'll let you know, I'm not gonna do jokes, but I'll just tell you about myself just so that you can do better suggestions than earlier, cause let's be real. Um, um, you know, I like um, reality TV, I like current events. I'm Canadian, but I moved to America. Wanted to see it before it ends. <laughs> that was a joke I've done before, but I'm not gonna do it again, I promise. That's good, it didn't even work, so that's good. Let's get, uh, <laughs> let's get our first suggestion. Somebody say something. Star Wars. Road Batteries. Batteries, okay, I have one. <laughs> okay, so obviously I love, uh, I have a vibrator, I love it, love her. Um, and I remember just like, cause you always, it's always embarrassing buying batteries for it, cause I feel like everyone knows what it's for. <laughs> So you're like you're like at shoppers and you have batteries and you have like a decoy sandals. <laughs> you're like I just it's for my flashlight. I'm going to the beach at night or something. <laughs> um, yeah, and it's like they're bad for the they're bad for the environment. I try to do so many things that are good for the environment, but like not that. You know what I mean? Like I just I'll buy whatever batteries I need, <laughs> and I'll get a plastic bag for it too, because you know I'm embarrassed. <laughs> Okay, let's just do another one. <laughs> self-driving cars. Oh, self-driving cars. Okay, well, that's good, because um, I like self-driving cars. I think that they're very interesting, because I also don't have a driver's license. Um, <laughs> so for me, I'm like, finally, like, quick, hurry. <laughs> I feel like I can make it. I feel like I can, I can wait it out and just get a self-driving car. Um, yeah, I, I just, I don't have a driver's license. Just, um, just I, I have juicy jugs, you know, it's like... <laughs> I'll get a ride, you know what I mean? Like, I'll get to where I need to be. <laughs> I got here just fine, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, yeah, no, but self-driving cars are very cool. I mean, AI in general, I think is very cool. That's a good suggestion. Um, I'm very into AI. Um, the thing is, everybody's like all worried. Everyone's like, oh, AI is gonna take our jobs or something. Is that what people are worried about? Is anybody actually worried about that? Do you guys all work in a factory? Uh, uh, sorry. Because <laughs> they are going to take your jobs, but that's like, okay. <laughs> like, it, AI can't do like what I do. <laughs> it's just a little bit better. <laughs> okay, give me another one. Fashion. fashion? Okay, that's good. So I went to fashion school. I moved to Vancouver to go to fashion school. I dropped out right away, but it's not important for... <laughs> um, and I really love fashion. Um, obviously wearing three quarters of Ritzia. It's like, whoa, when did Anna Wintour get here? <laughs> it's not a fancy outfit. You don't know, obviously. I can tell you don't know, but it's a, it's a mediocre outfit. Um, but I do love fashion. Oh, something funny just happened about fashion school. So I just got diagnosed with ADHD and ha ha ha. Um, it's a learning disability. Check your ableism. <laughs> I don't know, but um, I was in like the, the, I was meeting with this like specialist and he was like for ADHD and he was like asking me about my schooling and stuff. And I was like, oh, I went to fashion school, but I dropped out. And he was like, we actually get a lot of fashion school dropouts. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, that makes a lot of sense. Like, I feel like if people, when people apply to fashion school, they should just send a thing back that's like, maybe you just have ADHD. Maybe, <laughs> maybe you don't need to waste this much of your parents' money <laughs> learning to make a skirt. <laughs> Um, but fashion is really fun. I'm trying to dress more like a hacker. <laughs> it's not really coming across right now, but I feel like hacker is like the new look. That's just info for you. That's just helpful. <laughs> okay, give me another one. Vancouver. Vancouver. I mean, Vancouver's good. It's better than here, but you know that. That's not, <laughs> oh, it's just literally better. It's just literally better. That's not my fault. <laughs> what, you're shaking your head, what? It rains too much. It rained today. Like, get over yourself, Toronto. This is why everyone hates you. Cause it's like, 
I'm hoping for red rains too much. It's, you're fucking under snow all year. Wouldn't you rather a sprinkling? Like, does anybody else have any beef with Vancouver? Let's just take this up right now. Hmm? Hmm? It's cheaper too, so fuck yourself. <laughs> No, I, sorry, but you know, your city is bad. <laughs> it just has a very evil aura in the air, and I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> no, but I do hate Toronto. But another, <laughs> another, anybody else? <laughs> oh, The Bachelor. Okay, did you? Did anybody here watch The Bachelor this year? Okay. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's worth it. It was just a really bad season. I've, I've watched The Bachelor since, like, the first year. And it's so bad. They did they did two bachelorettes this year. Like, two girls who were picking from a group of guys. And I hate it when it's, like, when it's all guys. Like, I like it when it's one guy and a bunch of girls. Because girls know how to be competitive about a guy. But when it's a bunch of guys, they're just like, I mean, she's kind of cool. But, like, you know. <laughs> Bros before hoes. <laughs> It's not a competitive spirit, you know? <laughs> and there was two this year. And so, okay, this is something I feel like I can't talk about. So there was two bachelorettes this year because they were both like wronged by The Bachelor last season. And so the, I guess the, the, you know, they felt bad and they were like, okay, you can both be The Bachelorettes. And at first I was like, oh, it might be fun because they'll be competitive with each other. Um, but they picked one girl that's like fun and cute. And one, they're both cute, but one of the girls was just like so boring, like didn't say anything. <laughs> And they had to pick from the same pool of guys at the beginning of the season. So there were like several times where this one girl would like pick a guy to give a rose to. And then he'd be like, I actually prefer Gabby. <laughs> <laughs> I know it was crazy. Like um, my boyfriend and I were freaking out because there was this one contestant. His name was Meatball. <laughs> <laughs> And fucking poor Rachel was like, you know what? I'm going to take a chance on Meatball. Here you go, Meatball. And Meatball's like, um, I'm only here for Gabby. <laughs> it's brutal. Um, but The Bachelor is fun. If you're not watching it, you should watch it. And the thing is, I heard is, it's, you know, it's mostly girls clapping that watch it. And it did take me many years to get my boyfriend to watch it with me. And the strategy is just like, have it on nearby don't pressure them to watch it and then as soon as they walk by one day and they're like wait who is he again <laughs> you got him <laughs> it's over for him <laughs> i still can't get him to watch 90 day fiance because he says it's too sad <laughs> do you guys watch 90 day fiance <laughs> all the same people oh, you guys watch it okay sweet the thing is 90 day fiance is really good so if you don't know the premise of the show is I can turn any set into 90 Day Fiance. Like any, <laughs> any suggestion within two degrees, I can get it to 90 Day Fiance. It is the best show on television. So basically every season, it's like five different couples. And the whole show is based off of the American legal visa situation. So it's like if you are from another country and you get engaged to an American, you get the fiance visa and you can go to America and you go there for 90 days and you have to get married within that 90 days if you want to stay in the country. And if you don't get married, you have to go back to your country. And it's always like really hot people from other countries and like disgusting Americans. <laughs> <laughs> and it like makes you realize how bad some countries are. Like, like the hotness discrepancy lets you know how bad that country is. <laughs> Like, I always kind of thought, I was like, maybe I want to visit, like, Ukraine or Russia. But it's, like, it's always the hottest Ukrainian and Russian girl, like, dating, like, the sloppiest American guys. And I'm like, if they're that desperate to get out of the country, like, I don't need to visit it. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'll do one more. I'll do one more suggestion. Ed from 90 Day Fiance. Oh, okay. I sorry, I do actually have a good one for this. Okay, so if you have not watched 90 Day Fiance, good for you. That's a really good suggestion. <laughs> Um, so Ed, you've probably seen like memes of him. He doesn't have a neck and don't be sad for him because he's, <laughs> don't you dare fucking be sad for Ed because he has no neck because he's a motherfucker, okay? He's got, you've seen him, he's kind of squished. He has like, he has like long black hair and he's just sort of squished, okay? And it's very sad if other people have this condition and they're squished, I think that they look great, but Ed does, does not, okay? Um, and so one day um, when the Crystalia, um, <laughs> This, I'm going to bring it back. So when the Crystalia, like, you know, controversies, whatever, came up, I tweeted a picture of Ed and was like, this is Crystalia when I, after I boop him with a mallet. <laughs> <laughs> and it went 
so viral, okay? It is my biggest tweet. It was like, everybody saw it, okay? Seth Rogen followed me from this tweet. This was a major tweet from my Twitter career, okay? And I always sort of was like, hmm, Crystalia never retweeted that. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, it's like so viral, right? So I always kind of wondered if he saw it. And then a couple weeks ago, he posts a screenshot of it on his Instagram grid, made it to grid without my handle in it. And he, the caption was like, stop sending me this. <laughs> Let's bring Jeremiah back up here. <laughs> Keeping over Sophie Bottle, ladies and gentlemen. That was fantastic. <laughs> so we're uh, going to grab some suggestions together and see what we can do with them, guys. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's get our first suggestion. Airbnb. The Amazing oh. Race. <laughs> um, the Amazing Race. <laughs> now they're just like, I mean, she did pretty well with that. <laughs> The reality TV stuff, I mean, what else let's you do, got in the... Let's the... do Airbnbs. I feel like there's a lot to Airbnbs. Okay. Okay, so for one thing, they people, they are actually ruining cities. <laughs> Have you looked into let's it? Let's get to I the think, bottom of this. Yeah. I, I do stand up to educate. So Airbnbs, okay. they've ruined your city, one of the many reasons I hate Toronto. But every big city, it's a real thing where like... Did you know Airbnbs started in Detroit? <laughs> Let's take down Detroit a peg, finally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Kick them while they're down, Jeremiah. Right, right. <laughs> and stay down. And, um, but it's true, because like everybody that could afford to buy apartments, especially in like city centers and stuff, bought Airbnbs and is renting them out, and they can afford to leave it vacant like most of the month. And so that's why there's so many Airbnbs, and that's why you cannot afford a two-bedroom. Huh? <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> that that, uh, that hit a lot of us personally. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 I mean, I, I thought I was going to do an Airbnb on a vacation soon. But yeah. uh, Have you ever had an Airbnb where uh, the host is a little bit uh, too there? <laughs> I want my transaction with an Airbnb to be like a Dexter scene, okay? <laughs> I don't want to see them at all. I just want to use their property and get out of there. I don't like it when I go to the door and they're like, hi, welcome. I'm like, oh, I already am going to hate it here. <laughs> That's so funny. It's true. I, I don't think I've ever stayed at a place where the Airbnb host is there, but my mom and I were poor and we had a couple extra bedrooms. And so there was a couple years in high school that my mom was airbnb some of the bedrooms in our house. And most of them were really good. Most of them were like, you know, students from abroad that were staying with us. We had a lot of fun. But there was this one old guy that came and my mom just hated him. Like he was so nice. And my mom's like so sweet. She just like hated this guy. And the whole time he was staying there, she, she was like, oh, he's always fucking shuffling around. And I was like, what? He's so nice. Like, what's the problem? And so I never understood why she didn't like him. And then years later, like maybe like 10 years later, her and I are talking and I was like, why do you hate that guy so much? And she's just like, Oh, he came here. He, you know, he was like, he's Canadian, but he was like living in Mexico for his job, and then he had to come back here for like healthcare stuff because he had cancer. And I was like, and you hated him, like. And she was like, yeah, he came back for all this free cancer treatment, and he was just shuffling around the house with his cancer. His IV kept waking me up in the middle of the night. <laughs> this guy was a real jerk. Break. And she literally was like, I stopped doing Airbnb because of him. <laughs> wow. She was so mad. She hated him. <laughs> See, uh, my family was very, like, working class to sometimes poor. Uh, and we, before Airbnb, we just had a black roommate for a little while. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it was just somebody who my mom, acquaintance of somebody who she worked with, and uh, his name was Milton, and I would see him at the fridge and stuff. I'd hang out with him, like, in the middle of the day. <laughs> this was before Airbnb. That was just, like, you know, poverty. Um, <laughs> that's what we called it. That's um, what we called yeah, it. Yeah, no, I did, we did poverty, too. Oh, cool. And, yeah. <laughs> You've been on that app, too? <laughs> <laughs> And I do have one joke about our poverty house, but it like it's never worked in a stand-up setting, so I feel like that's okay to try to do. Yeah, of course. Just like, okay, so we were so poor that like one time we got locked out of our own house, and so we had to like break back into our own house, and it was like really easy. <laughs> <laughs> 
Like, I was, like, all worried. I'm like, oh, no, how are we going to get back in our house? And my mom was like, we're going to go through the hole. <laughs> Sophie Bottle, ladies and gentlemen.